Welcome to the channel. My name is Mark and today we are going to be taking a look at how to create your own skin, how to test it in game and how to submit it to the workshop. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so before we start any of the skin creation, we want to download the programs that we will need. So there are three things you will have to download. The first one is Blender, which you can just find at blender.org and you just click download Blender. The second is VTF Edit, which you can find right over here. Click on this GitHub page and you can just install the installer right over here. All right, so once you have downloaded VTF Edit and Blender, there is a third resource that you will need to download which is the workbench materials. Now this link is quite bugged, so what you want to do is open it in a new tab and just reload the page, which will allow you to download it. So once you have downloaded those three things, we can get right into the video. Okay, so now that we have the workbench materials downloaded to our computer, what you want to do is extract the files right over here. It doesn't matter where you save the files to, I just put it on the desktop. And just for the sake of it, I will name it like that. Now, once you have it on your desktop, you want to open up Blender. All right, so now that we have opened Blender, what you want to do is select all the objects in the scene and just hit delete. What you can also do is hit X twice and delete like that. So now that we have deleted that, we want to go to File, Import, and hit Wavefront. Now over here, you want to go to the place where you saved your workbench materials. Then what you want to do is go to the OBJs folder, and you can select your skin. In my case, I will go for the AK, Import, and you will see the AK right over there. Alright, so once we have the AK, what you want to do is come over to the top left, and hit Image Editor. Then over here, you want to click on new and you want to name this whatever you want I will name it the AK and then just skin texture and then you want to make this 2048 by 2048 and hit OK so once you made your skin texture you want to go over to the 3d viewport now over here you want to select the skin and in the top left where it says object mode you want to select texture paint all right, so now what we want to do is we want to come over to Texture Paint and you want to go over to the Shader Editor. Now over here you want to hit Shift A. You want to search for Image Texture. You hit that and then just drop it somewhere. Now in here you want to click on the image icon and click on the skin texture you just created. So now you can go back to the 3D viewport and you will see that the texture has been applied to the skin. So now that you see this texture, you can go over to Texture Paint and it will open a separate window where you can see all the individual parts to the AK. So now that we have done all of this, you can go ahead and paint the AK. Alright, so now that we are done creating our skin, I want to show you a few little things. So if you can't see the texture on the left changing, you want to make sure that this is set to your skin texture. And what you can also do is paint on the left here. So as you can see, when I change the color on here, for example, it will also change somewhere on the gun. In this case, it's right here on the other side of the gun. So as you can see, you can also start painting like this if you wanted to. So once you are done creating your skin, what you want to do is on the left side here, you click on image, save as, and select this skin texture as a PNG. Now in my case, I have saved it already, so I'll just quickly change the name but make sure the file is saved as a PNG and then just click on save as image all right so now we are going to open up VTF edit and convert the PNG to a VTF file so in order to do this we want to come over to the top left and hit file then import then over here you want to go to the location you have saved your file in my case on the desktop we want to open it and over here there are many options but you don't have to change anything so just hit OK. Now this will just take a few seconds to convert and once you are done with converting you will see something along the lines of this. Then what you want to do is go to the top left to the save icon. This will save it as a VTF file so just name it what you want. I will just name it AK47. It doesn't matter at all. So just hit save. Now you can close out of VTF edit and we can go to the next step. Okay, so now that we have created the VTF file, we want to open up CSGO. 
All right, so now that we have opened CSGO, you want to go to the settings and make sure you have enabled developer console. So if you have done that, all we have to do right now is hit workshop underscore workbench in the console, and this will open up the workbench. All right, so now that we are in the workbench and selected the custom paint job, we want to go over to choose pattern, and we want to go over to our desktop in my case. So over here, you will find the VTF file. You just want to click on open. As you can see, this will apply the skin you have created to the gun. All right, so now that we have imported our skin in the workbench, we want to change some values. So the first one is the ignore weapon size scale. We want to apply that. Then over here at the offset, we want to just set that to zero. And this goes for every single offset one, as well as the rotate. There we go. So now this is done. And then what we can do is over at the where we can just play with it. So as you can see, this will change depending on how badly you want to make the skin look, I guess. Okay, so that was it for the workbench. This will just make it easier for you to work around with your skin and see how it will look in game. All right, so if you are happy with the skin and you want to submit it to the workshop, what you want to do is create a name for the skin. I will just simply name it this just for the example. So then what you want to do is you want to save as and over here you want to save it wherever you want. In my case, again, I will go to my desktop and I will save it on my desktop. You can name this whatever you want. You will need to enter some information about the skin right here. You will have a preview image which you can create. And then over here, there is the TXT file we uploaded. And then here is the VTF file which we have also uploaded and then we will need the TGA file. So you might be wondering how you can get the TGA file. So let me show you that right now. All right, so in order to convert the VTF file to a TGA file, what you want to do is open up VTF edit and go to the top left and click on file, then open. Now over here, you want to select your VTF file. Then once you are here, you want to convert it to a TGA. So once you have imported the VTF file into VTF edit, you want to go over to the top left again, hit file, click on export. And here you will see it will be saved as a TGA file. So just click save and then you are done with that. Now you can go back into CSGO and you can go over to the location you saved it. So over here, the TGA file, you want to click open. All right, so once you have the TGA file over here, you can go ahead and add a preview image. All right, so now that we have the preview image, the title and the description and all of these files, we want to read the workshop vac and accept the terms. So once we have done that, we can click on publish. And over here, you will need to type I understand in the box and hit OK. Now what this will do is it will publish the file to the workshop and you will be able to visit it. All right, so now that we have created the skin, we are going to be testing it out in game. And what we want to do is go over to CSGO's properties and we want to go over to the launch options and type minus insecure. What this will do is it will dis disable VAC so we can test out our skin in game. So let's continue. All right, so the first step you want to do is you want to go over to your CSGO folder. So once you're in here, you want to click on CSGO. Now in here, you want to go come over to materials. Then you want to find models. And then you will need to find the weapons. And over here, you want to create a folder that is going to be named customization. In my case, I've done this before, so I have that folder already. Then create a folder named paints. Then in the paints folder, you want to create a folder named custom. And over here, you will have to drag and drop your VTF file. So right over here, we drag it in here. So that is the first step done. So what we want to do now is we want to go over in CSGO and I will show you something. All right, so now that we have opened CSGO, we want to go over to the inventory and select the skin that we are going to be using. So in my case, I made a AK skin. So I will need to search an AK skin in my inventory. If you have another skin, you just want to ha select that one. And in my case, I will be testing the minimal wear version. So how this works is you can just test every version, but you will need the exterior. So in my case, I only have a minimal wear AK. I also have this Statrek one, but it's Statrek, so that won't work. 
Now what we are going to be looking for is from what collection the gun is. So in my case it's from the Prisma collection and it's the Uncharted AK. So we need to keep this in our mind. Alright, so once you are in the CSGO folder, you want to go over to scripts and then items. And in the items game TXT, we want to just copy and paste this. So we have it as a backup because we're going to be changing it. Then once we have done that, we will be opening the original items game.txt. Alright, so once you have opened the items game.txt, what you want to do is look for your weapon. Now this might be quite difficult because the names over here, for example, for my collection, will be different than the ones in game. So it might take a while to find the case you are looking for, but it will look something like this. So in my case it's called the CUAK47 Aztec which was probably the original name that the creator of the skin named it. In my case, the Prisma case is the Community 22 case. So once we have copied this, we want to be looking for a paint kit. Now, I will search it with you guys. All right, so yes, this is it. Now you will see all these values. So this way you will know that you have found the right skin. So what we do want to do now is I will leave a link in the description to the values you want to copy over here. All right, so once you have the values copied from the description, you want to select everything except the top three and just paste. Now, as you can see, this will mess everything up, but that doesn't really matter. You can just save this. So once you have done this, you have saved the file, but I made a mistake. So we have to change the pattern, which will be the name of your VTF file, which in my case is over here on the desktop, which is the AK47, just quite simple. So what we want to do is just do this. You don't have to put the file extension behind it, just the name. So once we have done this, we can save the file. All right, so now that we have saved the items game.txt and we made sure to add the, uh, the property minus insecure to the launch options, we can open up CSGO. All right, so once CSGO is opened, we can just open up a map. In my case, I'll pick Mirage. And once we have loaded in, we want to obviously select the site for which you have made the weapon, which in my case will be the T side. All right, so once we have loaded into the game, we can just buy our weapon and there you go. It shows up right here in the game. So as you can see, the values in my case don't really match uh, the workshop. So what you might want to do is change the values in the items game.txt so that it looks the same as in the workbench. All right, so before I say goodbye, what I am going to show you is just how you can revert back to the old CSGO. So what you want to do is remove minus insecure from the properties, and you will also need to replace the items game.txt with the backup. So I will show you that right now. All right, so once you are in the items folder in the CSGO folder, you want to remove items game.txt and you want to just rename this back to the normal. So that was it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe for more CSGO content and I will see you later. Adios.